Yep, somebody hit me yet again. I already ordered the new fender. The guy already paid me. I'm not even mad at the guy. I'm just kind of mad at the situation. This is the second time somebody's hit me in this exact spot. So I'm going to be rewrapping the new fender and then putting it on. And then, uh, I think I'm just going to patch these little blemishes that, you know, these little scrapes and stuff to the best I can without doing the whole bumper. Okay, so with that being said, I already ordered a replacement fender from eBay. I got it all cut out, so that'd be your first step is, you know, laying your vinyl um, and then cutting it to the shape. It makes it a little easier, right? I got this kit um, from Amazon. It was like, hmm, shit, I don't remember, but I'll put up uh, the listing and I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's got everything you need, minus the tape. You gotta buy the tape separately knife this tape I do recommend getting a roll of this but it comes with everything that you need tuck tools uh, a bunch of squeegees different um, fabrics on them mainly just been using these blue ones but um, yeah they have a glove they got like a finger guard so that you can use your finger uh, everything and now you'll notice with your vinyl sorry that's my neighbor you notice with your vinyl, you'll have like a, a cap on it, right? I say you leave this on and get as much of it on as you can and then take it off to get all the details. Um, these come with the kit, these magnets, all oh, these are so essential to have, okay? Okay, so got it laid on. Now, what I learned from my very limited knowledge of wrapping is you kind of want to find like an anchor point. I'm going to be using uh, this line right here. And then, so I'm going to work my way down and then above this. So that'll be where the tension sits. It's going to be on here and then it'll, you know, lay We'll pull the tension this way and that way, all right? And my squeegee right here. And just start, you know, working, working away at it. For like these major bubbles, you're just gonna wanna lift it. See how I got like, uh, got my anchor point right here. I'm gonna relift once I get to this part because there's a lot of tension right here. See that, you hear that? doesn't stick because there's so much tension. I could heat it and get it in there, but um, I'm gonna try to lay it as much as I can. From here, just start squeegeeing down. Get all the bubbles out. I was saying for these points right here, I'm gonna lift it, get it in there, and then wrap it around that corner. Pretty much just building up to that line there. So easy with the cap on. At this point, I think I could take the cap off. I'm seeing like a lot of like creases and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. See that right there? I'm gonna need to heat that out because that'll show up in the actual vinyl. Super easy because now I have a good foundation to start on. Alright, look, check that out. Boom. Now I just gotta focus on this little section here. Should be a little easier. And I gotta be pretty careful with this uh, spot right here. Trying to get the finger. This thing helps so much. Okay, 
after you got everything nice and set, this is where you want to start trimming as much of the fat as possible. I leave um, probably like an inch and a half, you know, about this much over of what you need to do. That way you can tuck it in, get it in there, and then you won't be able to see any of the black. And it just makes it a whole lot easier. But just make sure not to trim too much to where, you know, you don't have any vinyl to work with. This is my favorite part right here. So satisfying. Okay, so a couple things before. I can put the replacement fender. I just got the old one. Then I'll put the new one right here. The rims were stuck, so I'm gonna have to repair that. Excuse my neighbor. I'm gonna repair that, sand it down, repaint it. Luckily, I do have paint. Where I'm at so far. Yeah, that is gonna be my patch job. Um, I do not want to rewrap the whole bumper. I put a little patch here and a little patch here. At a distance, you can't tell, but you know, whatever. For the wheel, you can tell that this is the new part right here. My my thing is, how do I get it to look like this? It doesn't stay like this, so maybe I need to put another coat on this. Make it like shine like this one, because that looks pretty good. Coming together, there's a new fender. Um, but yeah, check that out. All right, well, here she is, restored. Back to how I had it. <clears throat> yeah, that is, that's it, yeah. She ready once again.